This film has been made by media students and young travellers from Berkshire. The film will explore the difference between travellers now and travellers in the past. There are different types of travellers. The travellers in this film are descendants of Romani gypsies. It's thought that the ancestors of the gypsies lived in northwest India over a thousand years ago. Legend refers to them in Persia during the 5th century. They travelled in many routes across the world, and some came to England. Although the travellers in Dachet have a permanent place to pull up their caravans, they are still treated differently to the non-travellers. Oh, uh, sorry, that's like where we live. Um, um, there's nothing. We have a little green. It's like a square shape in the middle of our site, and uh, the council won't put nothing on there. So, um, so is what happened is we rung up the council and stuff, <laughs> and we keep saying, can we put? A can we put a play gym on there and even if we all, all chip in and do ourselves? And they kept saying no. So um, some people kept going out here and getting like, little slides for their children and they put it on the green and now all we have to do is we discovered how to tip it over. And we tipped it over, <laughs> don't laugh! And we tipped it over <laughs> and now we sit in it and we get pulled back and we named it the Kirby thing oh, and that's all we've got. The Romany travellers that are around today aren't that much different from non-travellers. What do you do in your free time? I mean, we're, we're, we're not much different now from uh, non-travellers, to be honest with you. Like, so, so sometimes I'll be shooting in that, but you get air rifles, but not much different. I play on computer games, is it? A while ago, we went to we buy some pellets from, uh, from a gun shop, and they said to uh, the gun count, said, yeah, yeah, we had a load of them dirty pikeys here. We're going to put the big, big bullets in the gun this time. How'd that make you feel? Oh, uh, sad. Well, you just get used to it after a while, to be honest with you. Like, you, you, you still get annoyed about it, but I was just, just, just saying you get used to it after a while. Like, uh, a few months back, me and anyway, so I went down to a nightclub, under 18th thing, right? I said, uh, loving me, mate. So I said, you, 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 you ain't coming in because gypsies. How did you react to that? Did you? Talk to anyone about it? Well, can't, can't, can't really say too much at all because I don't know, not, not much to get done about it. Mm. Well, you, do, you, you, you do get racism, but I don't, I don't really get a lot of it said to me face. You know, like, well, up, up, up at college, like, uh, like, 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 I hear them say yeah, things like, oh yeah, them, they're letting pikeys is down in uh, West Straight or wherever, right? Like some of them, like that, that they don't know no different. Like they, like to them, like Pikey means gypsy, but like Pikey's basically like uh, walking up to a black man and calling him a nigger. That's what it's like to travellers. Sorry for that sound of racist, but that's just how it sounds. I don't really know how else to explain it. Like, yeah, like most people, like they're, 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 they're like, like, they're about bad stories about travellers, but like, they only look on the bad, don't they? But it's good and bad and everything. Yeah, I, I reckon myself, like, my, most travellers, like, we're all decent people, you know what I mean, like, they help you out on that, you know what I mean, like, can hear you down this thing. But people only seem to focus on bad. The things that non-travellers take for granted have only recently in the last 15 to 25 years become necessities for travellers. Now we've got electricity, running water, main drainage, things that, I'm not being funny, you've took for granted ever since you were born. Um, Years ago, when I was younger, right up until I was about 15 year old, we used to heat our water outside to have a bath, to do our washing. Um, we used to make a fire and we used to have a really big tin bath and used to, we used to have to walk about 100 yards to a sandpipe to get water. Um, if we were away travelling, we um, used to have to knock on farmers' doors and ask to fill the milk churns up with water to use. Um, we never had electricity till I was about, I would say, 13 or 14 year old. We used to have candles, so like in the daytime everything was done in daylight and then we used to have candles at night and we used to have a battery which we hooked up to the television and 
it's funny because as the more you use the battery, the picture would get smaller. So like you would have and start the evening like with a big picture on a little portable television, but by the time like say twelve o'clock at night had gone, there was about that much of the picture missing each side. What do you think life with travellers is like now? I think the children now have a better quality of life than what we had when we were younger. They get to do more things. Um, they're more into the community than we were. I mean, the children are accepted at school for what they are. We weren't. The young traveller girls involved in the film all have ambition, and I believe they'll reach their goals if they continue doing well in school. When I'm older, I want to do acting. Yeah, I want to be an actor or a florist because I, I, like, I want to be like a photographer. I want to be loads of things. I want to be a nurse or a singer. When I'm older, I want to work for children, like in the nursery. Like, well, what what we want to do, we need more qualifications to get to, so we've got to go college and just all the way through school. Whereas they An important thing in their life, along with mainstream education, is the language and history of their ancestors. Some of the, um, the, like, the non-travellers use our language. So really, you don't know what you are. <laughs> no, no, and like, travellers live in houses more now, and they never used to. Yes. Like we all, they all used to live in travellers or, I mean, in trailers. Oh, <laughs> tra they live in, in trailers. In they? In trailers or wagons or whatever they used to live in. But now, like, they live in houses as well. And like, some travellers is like using more gorgeous language. That lot. Funny, well, like you, when you keep saying dude, right? <laughs> <laughs> do you speak the language? Do I speak the lingo? <laughs> Who's yeah. lingo? Our lingo. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to tell you why. Now, whose phone was that? It was yeah, yours, we, wasn't it? We speak the language. We speak, they can cut! <laughs> we speak, like, we say some stuff what, uh, God, you wouldn't know what we were saying, like, yeah. and you just think, what, what are you on about? What are you talking about? Say, about, say, we was a different country. Yeah. Say, like, you know, steel. We don't say steel, we say chew. Are <laughs> you just told us? I'll just tell you how we Sorry. Well. Cut that bit out, then. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a difference between your parents or grandparents and the way they know the language and the way you yeah. know yeah. it? Yes. Like, 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 they know small words. And like, Some things are saying. They can speak and we, we don't know, know what they're saying. saying. Some things are saying, like, we don't know what they're saying. And like we think, what are they saying? Well, really, you, you know, could call us foreigners, to be honest. If you was <laughs> looking at <laughs> no, if you were sitting in the street with us and we was talking like it. Yeah. The original language Romanes isn't spoken often between young Romani travellers now. I'd never heard the language until I met a Romani traveller who was born in Romania and had lived there all his life. Romani gypsies do not all share a language but have evolved different dialects of the Romanish language depending on the countries they have lived in in the last few generations. In the case of Romania, the language known as Tiganeshte, or literally Gypsyish, is derived from Persian and Punjabi roots as well as the modern Romanian language. Gypsies in Romania have Tiganeshte as their mother tongue but can also speak Romanian. George. 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 Sunt în România și am venit în Anglia aici, trebuie să cânt și eu cu acordion, să pot să-mi câștig un ban. Um, prietenul meu vă întreabă de unde um, ancestori, decendanții tăi, de unde au originat uh, tatăl, tatăl, tatăl tău? Tatăl meu a fost... Thank you, thank you. De la țară. De la uh, țară. Nu, nu, uh, cum să zic, tatăl lui, tatăl lui, tatăl lui, în decendanții din istorie, din istorie. Tatăl lui, tatăl lui, tata. Da, da, da. De unde veni? De la, de provenim din țar, de la țar. Nu știi ce e țară. Da, da. De la țară, de provenim din țară, muzicanți. Da. Din tată în fiu, muzicanți. De, uh, prietenul meu vă întreabă da. cum, uh, de unde vine, de unde vine uh, Roma, romanii, uh, numele romanii și, uh, cum să zic, uh, povestea de țigani și de unde, I mean, de ce vă cheamă? 
Ho versato ciganni di storia, di nascosti ciganni. Nascosti ciganni. Asta. Da come a me voi vi mutate in zara in zara? Noi musicanti non ne mutiamo in zara in zara, noi siamo musicanti. Prietenul meu vă întreabă cum, cum se zice uh, cal în, uh, în țigănește? Grast. Grast. Și, uh, Grast. Uh, uh, cum se zice? Caravană, înțelegi ce zici? Caravană? Uh, da. Ca... Caravană nu se spune pe țigănește. No. Tot caravană se spune. Deci, pe țigănește. Caravană. Uh, femeie? Femeie. Romni. 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 Uh, și un copil mic, un băiat mic? Ciao, rog. Ciao, rog. Și um, vorbește-ne despre România puțin. Ce, România e frumoasă, la fel ca și Anglia, ca da. toate țările. Acum și... suntem comunitari, suntem... Uh, 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 și um, la țiganii sunt, uh, cum să zic, sunt uh, depăr depărtați de români? Sunt uh, depărtați, sunt amărăști. Au, cartierier, au da, cartierurile da. lor și... Da, da, da. Au cartierurile lor și sunt depărtați de români. Este conflict între ei? Da. Cum, cum? Mai este. Vorbește-mi despre o zi în România cu, să spunem, dacă un țigan vine la un român și ce, ce se întâmplă. Băi, să bat, băi, nu prea, nu prea supără pe țigan. Da. Da. Dar se și împac? Sunt și, au și prietenie între ei? Au, au și prietenie între ei, au. Hai că vă trebuie să cânti și eu. Ok, ok, înțeleg. Ok, mulțumesc pentru mulțumesc. As you can see, George, like many other travelers in Romania, is very unsure of his ancestry and can only talk to us as far back as the last few generations living in the countryside in Romania, with little or no knowledge of his original ancestral roots in North India. Like, they're allowed to run the roads and go wherever they want to go. Yeah, but some travellers are. No, no, some travellers are allowed here, but most ain't. They like they're allowed to go some. No, they're allowed to go some places. But like the other year, the gorges now, what we call them, they're allowed to run all the roads. It pitch black dark here, and like you don't know what could happen now in these days. Yeah, but we're allowed to go like pictures and that. We've but got mates, but we're only allowed to keep wandering like, off around, and, and we have to tell our mum, and if she says no, we don't go. But they just allowed to walk off wherever they want to go. Don't know what could happen to them. Do you think that's a good thing or a bad thing? A bad thing, bad thing, cause in a good it's thing, a good thing it's a good thing for us, but bad. It's a good thing for us because at least then, and like when we get older and we are allowed to go out, we're going to enjoy it more. We're not going to get bored of things quick because we ain't been allowed to do it all the time. Yeah, that's that's how we've been brought up, though. That's why we think it. They're allowed to go out when they was young, allowed to go like everywhere and that. And now, now they're allowed. They they don't want to go. Cause they're bored of it. They've done it all when they was little. So now we enjoy it when we get older. When we go out and that, we enjoy it, won't we? Yeah, but yeah. we are allowed out. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like. The only thing we're not allowed to do really is roam the streets at night. I mean, our mums and that do trust us, they just don't trust don't, other people. Yeah, all the, the people else. around us. Because yeah. what you hear and all. I'm getting yeah. pranked, I'm living bad, love the game. It's different, it's different for boys. Because, like, when, like, when my dad and that was young boys, they had their horse in cart and that was, like, their fun and joy type thing. But, like, for boys nowadays, they do have horses and carts and that, but they go shooting more, and then they can go to Old Windsor, they can go out to parties, they go out to McDonald's and <laughs> go out and go out for, like, nice meal together and all that and just hang about and, like... Since when does Lee ever gone out for a what nice meal? Would you shut up, boy? And just like hang about with all their mates and that. It's but when when they else. was little, when my dad and them was little, they their horse and cart was their pride and joy. It's not like like different boys. for for boys than it is girls, because boys are allowed to go out at younger age, allowed to do more things. The children in the summer months they used to sleep under the wagons, or if they the parents had what they called a bendy, which was. Um, a construction made of two lengths of stick and there was bent over and stuck into the ground like that and then just a tarpaulin sheet chucked over them and the children used to sleep in that and even if it was raining I know they slept in that as well so I would say living in a caravan like what we live in is much more comfortable. And that one there, that's a big one because that's like 10 or 11 sticks in it. Yeah. But they, they ain't sewed that together, they've, prob they've probably uh, had that given to them. Because they, they, they never hardly like, made it themselves, they sewed it together with bits of rags. Is it possible for travellers to continue their tradition in this day and age? No. I, to a certain degree, yes. The teachings, what the travellers 
teach their children at home, yes, but the way of travellers' life is quickly diminishing, I think, because you're not allowed to travel around. If if you do go travelling, I mean, I'd love to take the children travelling for the summer holidays when they're not at school, but there's nowhere to stay. If you put your jacks down somewhere, you've got the police on you, trying to move you on. There's nowhere, there's nowhere legally that you can stay. In a way, the lives of travellers have improved, but the thought of travelling in a large, close-knit group around the place is attractive to me, so I can imagine the difference. The lack of open air for the travellers is destroying their way of life.